on the one side, uh, you want to be a man with big balls to uh, be successful at wartime dating. And the type of man you don't want to be to kind of overemphasis is mm -hmm. pussy man. <laughs> you don't want to be a pussy man. Big balls, pussy man. If you're a pussy man, it's going to make it very hard for you to be successful during wartime dating. What do we mean by that, honey? Uh, we can be oversensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Why you don't message me back? I message you. You don't. Me you you every three hours you don't message me. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, needy, needy man. Here. Yeah. I love you. You know you're so beautiful. I love you. Will you marry me? <laughs> uh, and then. Uh, mm. Yeah, over over sensitive about uh, about uh, or, fe <laughs> or fearful about being scammed or something, you know. Like Why this. you want money? Yeah. You want twenty dollars yeah. for what? Fifty? Fifty dollars? Oh my God, she's scamming me. <laughs> Your lady, she's scamming. Me, you know. <laughs> Guys, if you have a history of being scammed. It's going to make it more challenging because here's the reality. If you're not up to supporting her, and I mean emotionally and financially, pretty much out of the gate, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. That's <laughs> what I'm telling you. Because you have to. You've got to think of it. This is the hardest place in life she's ever been. She's a refugee. If you're not willing to step up, that's a Slavic man's role. Remember, the traditional roles are uh, people, right? The traditional role is the woman is the beautiful provider of the home, the comfort, you know, the caregiver. The man, he's the strong man. He's the provider. He's the problem solver. He takes care of the family. So if you're not going to step into the traditional role, which is helping, I don't mean a lot of money, but stepping up pretty early in the dating uh if you're not willing to do that and you're going to be tight and you're going to be scam sensitive mm -hmm. or or hypersensitive yeah don't even go there don't even start during wartime dating in ukraine what do you think i, I want to add that um we didn't advise uh, in normal time to guys to help financially women before war you know it was all time like you come you go on a date you feel you know physically uh, connection you start a real relationship and then when you come back home maybe at some point you start to you know yeah and uh, only after you've met after, her yes, and o yeah yes, it was yes. our advice before yeah, right be guys i know you, the, the comments are gonna blow up on this point and that's okay this topic needs to be discussed and it needs to be understood the big caveat here is you're talking about match guarantee ladies. We're talking about match guarantee ladies, highly vetted, serious ladies. We are very, very sure and confident in that. We're not talking about PPL sites, right? And in fact, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a recent experience of a guy. Yeah, you can decide whether he was scammed or not, but his lady asked him, for evacuation from Ukraine, $4,000. I'm gonna give you the letters, the correspondence, the photos, and you guys decide if he was scammed or not, okay? Not talking about that. Very, very important. You understand the quality of the lady, okay, that we're talking about here. We're talking about our ladies and only our ladies. Sorry, babe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a good, good point. Uh, and. Uh yeah, I just want to add about traditionalism, yeah, uh, Ukrainian families, um, that uh, some of Western men doesn't make, like, feel comfort, why I have to support her, like, what, she cannot work or something, you know, and um, of course, you know, Ukrainian ladies, they, they, they like to work, but it's like never will be, they will never compete with you, you know, about being a man, being a provider, you know, these, these things, you know. It will be great if she can continue to do what she was doing in Ukraine. Yeah, I actually want to add that uh, guys who are not happy with this idea uh, that men should be strong in the family, you know, maybe this, uh, just, this journey maybe not for you, you know, because I can tell that all Ukrainian men, uh, they would feel cut uh, the balls cut, the off. cut off if man if woman will make more money than him in the family you know 
uh, and they're happy to be provider. It's how they feel they, you know, they being a man, basically. Yeah, you don't find yeah. that in Ukraine society, is the woman makes more than the man. He would feel emasculated, and he wouldn't be with that woman, <laughs> usually speaking. And listen, guys, think of it this way. You're starting to support her pretty early out of the gate, but you're going to make up for it in saving on the K-1 visa fee uh, and waiting all that time. Well, mostly waiting two plus years it took to get a K-1 approved during COVID, right? That all that time, you're going to save that two years. She's going to be able to come to you whenever you want. In the case of an Australian, okay, he saves the application fee of $10,000 to get just to apply to have her come to Australia to be with him as a fiance. Uh, and remember, if they decline her in Australia, you don't get that $10,000 fee back. So there's a lot of built-in savings. And listen, if you're going to nickel and dime this thing so much, it's better. This journey is just not for you. I've seen the men that come and succeed quickly, of course, and I've seen the ones that fail. And the ones that succeed, like everything in life, success, it leaves clues. Success has a path. And we, when you see hundreds of people on a path of success, you can formulatize if you want that path of success. By the same token, when you see hundreds or thousands of men that fail, you can also formulatize that path of failure. So take it from us. We're talking about the earmarks of success versus the earmarks of failure. And basically, wartime dating in Ukraine, it got more complicated. There's no question about it. The path to success got more complicated. And we're endeavoring to help you with that path. And we're endeavoring to help you decide whether this is for you or not. Because I think it's for some men now. And it can actually be an advantage for you. And other men, I just don't. I think you have to think carefully, long and hard, before even trying it, if you're a certain type of profile of man.